Shakur Stevenson has basically turned into Devin Haney. Shakur Stevenson basically turned into Ryan Garcia, Roly Romero, Connor Ben, and the list goes on. Shakur is basing his entire existence off Javante Tank Davis' name. You know how we coming? When you think about it, Shakur Stevenson is more Devin Haney than Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson's promotional deal with Eddie Hearn Matchroom is a two-fight deal. First fight versus Joe Cordina on October 12th. The second is supposedly William Zapata in February with the hopes of making a Javante Tank Davis fight in the summer. Stop the cap. All over the internet, you've seen this picture right here talking about Shakur Stevenson versus Zapata and then Javante Tank Davis. I got a question for y'all Shakur Stevenson fans. Why didn't Shakur Stevenson just make a deal with PBC and Al Heyman? Shakur been a free agent for the past two months. If you're trying to make a Javante Davis fight, the best route to go is PBC and Al Heyman. What is all this matchroom stuff about? Let me tell y'all. Shakur Stevenson is taking that Devin Haney route. Use Javante Tank Davis name, but never gonna get in that ring with Tank Davis. <laughs> Devin Haney fought for top rank. Matchroom, Golden Boy, The Zone, the list goes on, but you will never see Devin Haney on PBC out of fear of Javante Tank Davis. Same thing goes with Shakur Twitterson. I'ma break your jaw. And really quick, Shakur Stevenson, why you wish you was from Chicago, bro? You from Newark, New Jersey, saw off his hair, went to go hide out in Texas. Why do you wish you was from Chicago, Illinois, bro? You were never gonna be from Chicago, Shakur Stevenson. Walking out with G Herbal at his fight, a rapper for Chicago. Shakur Stevenson today posting pictures with Kenneth Sims. You not from Chicago, bro. Shakur Stevenson using Chicago slang, talking about, yeah, they tweaking. Don't worry, I ain't taking a bait. <laughs> Yo, Shakur Stevenson, bro, if you're gonna use Chicago slang, at least spell it right. Talking about, yeah, they tweaking. You nothing but an East Coast nerd, New Jersey nerd. And why the hell your homie Greg Hackett scared to pull up to the city unless he feels safe? Look at you scared now, you Been trying to tell y'all boxers and gangsters and gangsters don't box. Ask every single boxing coach out of Philly. Soft as hell, I'm telling y'all. Everything that you're saying is reality and these guys don't want to hear reality. Broke squad coming through. Take a look at this picture. As y'all can see, it's Team Shakur Stevenson looking broke, starving, and gangbanging. Talking about, yo, we made it. Shakur Stevenson signed with Eddie Herman Metro. We made it, y'all. I have no respect for this guy, bro. I bet y'all Shakur Stevenson is the only man in this picture that got an iPhone. I bet y'all the rest of these goofies got Androids. You know deep down what I'm saying is true. Y'all not getting money like that. Oh, my dead grandmother gonna boom y'all. And Floyd Mayweather, the greatest boxer of all time. The man who is levels above Cassius Clay. The man had his way in today for his exhibition versus John Gotti tomorrow. Floyd Mayweather weighed in at 160 pounds. This is the highest that Floyd ever weighed in. Floyd's highest weight was 152, I think, against Canelo. But Floyd Mayweather will dominate tomorrow night, but on the undercard. The future pound for pound king of the sport, Kermel Moten, was getting a whole lot of love from the fans in Mexico. Who made the most money? Kermel Moten is a superstar. He is levels above any clown individual out of Cleveland, Ohio. He is levels above any clown individual out of Newark, New Jersey. The man was getting a whole lot of love from the Mexican fans today. Kermel Moten loves Mexico, and Mexico loves Kermel Moten. Reporting. I bet y'all if Abdullah Mason pulled up to Mexico, Nobody would know who the man is. I bet y'all if Zay Quinn Moses pulled up to Mexico, wouldn't nobody know who the man is? Kermel Moten is already a global superstar. Stay mad. Why, Why? And I know y'all clowns are watching this video talking about Dance Out Part TV. We know what you're saying is true, but you ain't gotta say it out loud. Welcome to South Part TV. Welcome to the United States of America, where we got a right to free speech and a right to our opinion. Bum ass nigga. And I just seen this report from Michael Benson, talking about Eddie Hearn said they made offers for Jerron Ennis for unification fights against fighters like Brian Norman, Mario Barrios, and Stanley Onis, all three welterweight champions. Looks like they can't get a fight. Eddie Hearn is trying to push the narrative that all three of these guys are scared of Jerome Boots Ennis. What do y'all think about that? I can't even lie to y'all. Jerome Boots Ennis is probably one of the most talented fighters in the game. Too bad he come from a soft city like Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Because he's a pussy, that's why. Right. He got some hoes. You want to know what's crazy? 
Where was all this everybody scared of Jerome Boots energy at when Terrence Crawford was at what to wait? Where was all this everybody scared of Jerome Boots energy at when Errol Spence was at what to wait? As soon as Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence leave what to wait, now all of a sudden Jerome is the boogeyman. Stop the damn cat. Ain't nobody scared of Jerome Boots Ennis. Maybe Mario Barrios might be scared of Jerome Boots Ennis, but Bud Crawford would stop Boots in about 25 seconds. I did get death threats. Hey yo, sub poor TB, wasn't you just showing Jerome Boots Ennis love last week? Like Chicago weather, things change, bro. Ain't nobody gonna think the same today as they did yesterday. Jerome Boots Ennis is a good fighter. Too bad he comes from a soft city like Philly. Southpaw always got some bullshit he wanna start. But at the same time, Newark, New Jersey and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania are basically one and the same. If y'all live in Philly, y'all know what I'm saying is true. Newark, New Jersey and Philly are basically the same damn city. Speaking of that, Shakur Stevenson just tweeted out, I'm rooting for my boy Edgar Berlanga to pull off the upset of the year. And yo, Shakur Stevenson, bro, just because you was naked in a motel room with Edgar Berlanga singing on your knees with your mouth open does not mean that Edgar Berlanga stands a chance, bro. Just know that. <laughs> just because you claiming that you Puerto Rican don't mean that Edgar Berlanga got a chance, bro. I will be rooting for Canelo Alvarez in this fight. Leave it up to your homie to make me a Canelo Alvarez fan. Canelo Alvarez is gonna knock Edgar Berlanga out, bro. Deep down in your heart, you know this. I was born ready. But I think that Shakur Stevenson takes pride of being an internet troll. Just yesterday, the man said, somebody talk some shit to me. Give me some motivation. It's gonna take everything to get up for this next workout. Y'all see what I'm saying? Shakur Stevenson likes to be trolled on the internet, and the man trolls himself on the internet. Shakur Stevenson. The softest individual in the sport of boxing. The man who is forever going to attach his name to Javante Davis, but will never step into that ring with Javante Davis. The man who's going to fool the public for the rest of his career. That he could beat Javante Davis, knowing damn well Javante Davis will knock Shakur Stevenson out in one round. Not Devin Haney. I don't think he can take a punch from Javante Davis.